PS Bank Money Transfer to Metro Bank. How to send money from PS Bank to Metro Bank via mobile app online. And if you're new to this channel and you want more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. So ngayon gamit ko yung cellphone ko and nakapag-download na din ako ng PS Bank mobile app. Kung wala ka pa nito, you can download it from App Store or Play Store. So tap ko tong PS Bank mobile app. And I'll log in here with my username and password. Uh, by the way, kung wala ka pang online account with PS Bank, you can click this Sign Up Now button. Ang gagawin nyo lang is i-accept nyo terms and conditions. And then ibibigay nyo yung details nyo about your account sa PS Bank, your personal details, and makikreate na rin kayo ng username and password. So since nagawa ko na in the past, I'll go ahead and log in with my username and password. And click Sign In. So, nandito na ako sa loob ng PS Bank online account ko. So, I'll tap this View Accounts. Then, I'll go ahead and click Create Transactions. And click on Transfer. And magka-transfer ako to Unenrolled Account. May option kang i-enroll yung account dito sa PS Bank. Pero, hindi ko siya gagawin ngayon. So, I'll go ahead and tap this Transfer to Unenrolled. And magka-transfer ako sa ibang banko. So, I'll tap Other Bank. And hanapin ko dito yung Metro Bank. Mahaba-haba yung list nila ng uh, banko na pwede mong pagpasahan. Metro Bank is Metropolitan Bank and Trust Company. So, I'll tap this. And enter here the account number. And for mobile number, although optional lang naman to, ilalagay ko na rin yung mobile number nung recipient or yung mga ka-receive ng pera. And click proceed. And then provide here the personal details ng uh, recipient. So ilagay ko dito yung pangalan ng pagkapadalhan ko ng pera. And click proceed. And enter the amount here. I'll transfer 1,000 pesos. And for the transfer schedule, meron ditong immediate, merong within one banking day. Pwede recurring date or kung gusto mo monthly magpapadala ka ng pera sa kanya with this amount. Or gusto mo schedule yung date once lang ipapasa yung pera sa kanya pero in advance. Uh, for now, I'll send money immediately. So gusto ko mag-reflect agad yung pera sa Metro Bank Online account. So I'll tap this. Right done. So, for remarks, I think remarks is optional lang naman, meaning hindi siya required lagyan ng info, pero lalagyan ko na rin siya ng details. So, I'll be transferring from PS Bank to Metro Bank. And dito sa bandang baba, may nakalagay dito na InstaPay yung pagbayad uh, sa kanya. And using this product, uh, 0 pesos yung uh, transfer fee. Ibig sabihin, libre yung pag-transfer. But normally, pag magka-transfer ka, may bayad talaga siya. And ito siya. Pag through InstaPay, real-time yung pag-transfer and 15 pesos yung charge niya. That's for mobile and online fund transfer. Pag PesoNet naman, uh, 50 pesos yung transfer fee. Mas mahal siya, pero up to 200,000 yung pwede mong i-transfer within the day. Sa InstaPay, it's 50,000 pesos yung maximum. Although mas mababa sa InstaPay, uh, real-time naman siya. Sa PesoNet kasi hindi. Um, pwede pang mag-take ng few hours to one business day yung pag-transfer. Depende sa oras na to. And ngayon, wave siya based on this advisory na PS Bank is waiving fees for fund transfer via InstaPay and PesoNet effective March 18 until further notice. So hanggang ngayon, wala pa siyang bayad. So, balik tayo sa mobile app ko and, and I'll click proceed. lang natin. So, uh, hintayin ko lang yung one-time password na ma-receive sa phone ko. And, i-enter ko lang siya dito. Okay, hintayin lang natin. So, natap ko na yung submit button. For PS Bank, uh, hindi ako nakakuha ng confirmation dito sa app na na-transfer siya ng maayos. Nag nagkaroon ako ng error na request failed pero nakareceive ako ng text na na-transfer na daw yung pera na 1,000 sa Metro Bank account ko 
and when I check, uh, I refresh ko lang to. And from 2,000, naging 3,000 na nga yung pera dito. So, may ganong cases na nangyayari kay PS Bank na possible nagkaroon ng error. I-double check nyo kung nabawasan yung account nyo. And kung nabawasan, i-double check nyo rin so, sa pinagpadala nyo ng pera kung nag-reflect na sa account nya yung perang pinadala nyo. And that's it. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Please let us know by clicking the like button. You may also check these videos. These are other ways on how to send money online. And also, may mga videos din kami about investment. You can start investing sa maliit na halaga. And this is Lou from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye!